With us tonight at 11, we'll begin with an alert in White Lake where police are investigating who placed a tiny camera in the women's bathroom that, at an auto dealer's. Yeah, that, uh, that tiny camera was discovered today by an employee at the Zott Chrysler Jeep dealership. And Jason Coldthorpe is there tonight. And Jason, was this an employee a bathroom or a public bathroom? This is a public bathroom, Kim, but it's mostly used by employees and it's not in the main showroom over here. It's actually in the used car area off of the body shop. So it's a smaller bathroom, just a single. Uh, however, there's nothing small about the PR nightmare. This place here at Zotz is dealing with because it normally has such a good reputation. A disturbing discovery to say the least this afternoon when a female employee at Zot Auto Group found a tiny camera in the ladies room. The dealership immediately called White Lake Police. Obviously it's a very stressful you know, situation what happened here today. Owner Thad Zot tells me the whole thing has shaken up his very close knit crew here pretty good. For something to you know, hit our organization like this with this kind of news, I mean it's, it's, it's shattering, it's earth shattering to us and shocking. Police will only say an investigation is underway, but employees believe it was a small wide angle camera positioned underneath this table in the restroom, but outside the stall. We know one employee was placed on administrative leave after talking to police. They started asking a few questions and interviewed an employee. Um, and we thought best, you know, probably not to have that employee come back to work until they you know, finish their investigation. Zot actually thought he might get interviewed today, but not for this. So this is going to Huron Valley Schools. For this, a $60,000 check he's giving to the Huron Valley Schools at tomorrow night's Milford Lakeland game. The cool thing is when we do something like we're doing at the schools tomorrow, that there's such a spirit with our culture and our team. Like, they're so a part of it and want to be a part of it and just enjoy giving back. Obviously, something like this that's happened is not going to ruin what we did, but man, is it really a tough day for us today. It is, has been real tough. You hope they can, that doesn't get overshadowed tomorrow night. Now, the camera, the way it's described to me, just a little tiny kind of 360 that was uh, up underneath the bottom of the table and was easily seen, however. Now, police are going through that now to see if there are any images on there they can take off for at the very least to see how long it's been in there. Still at this point, don't know if it's an employee or a customer that would have placed it there. We're in White Lake tonight. Jason Coulthorpe, Local 4. Well, in fact, Jason, do we know anything else about this employee put on administrative leave? Yeah, I'm kind of surprised we were told that much about him, yep. but I think at this point they want to let the investigation play out. However, I was told the employee did deny the allegations, Devin. All right, it was a pretty candid take there, uh, though, by the dealership on what we heard. All right, Jason, Kim.